What's going on guys, it's the Fox and in today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install the file manager and notepad. As of this recording, the new firmware has been out. I'm not sure if the new firmware for Xbox has been patched. By the way, this guide, this guide and my previous guide works on all Xboxes. Xbox One, Xbox Series S, and Xbox Series X. Now, yesterday when the firmware came out that was exploitable, I went ahead and downloaded the game script. I didn't think of downloading the uh, notepad file to copy and paste the commands into the game script. I know that got released uh, a couple of days ago. People were talking about that, but common sense to me should have been, hey, you need to download a notepad and a file manager. No one ever talked about it. It's just kind of like just put out there and you can copy and paste and you can execute the code. Now first things first before we get into this video guide you can download the file manager and the notepad file I'm sorry the notepad program I'm kinda of tired right now this was a little tricky and a little buggy to do I did it on my Xbox One without a problem had a couple of problems here and there I don't know if it's my internet connection or what it is but I'm gonna show you what you need to do so first things first is you need to head over into your settings and make sure your internet your internet is disconnected. Mine's disconnected at the moment. Okay, what we need to do is we need to go into system and as you can see right here, I'm on the um, the previous build of the exploitable firmware 10.0.25398.44 as of right now there's a newer firmware obviously we don't want to update so first things first is we need to go back and we need to go into I believe updates here okay see it says keep my console up to date you want to make sure this is unchecked and you want to make sure that box is unchecked very very important um, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect to the internet that's the only thing that you need to do as long as you follow my previous video you'll be okay I don't know how long this back door is going to stay open because technically you can use the older firmware and connect to the Microsoft Store and not have any issues or anything. I don't know if they're going to patch this out. I don't know if they care about it, but I'm guessing they probably don't even know about it. This worked on my other Xbox and it will work on this Xbox. So first things first, we need to connect to the internet. I'll be right back. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go into general and you want to go into network settings. You want to press go online and what we can do if, if you get any prompts at any time where it asks you hey you need to update your firmware or whatever turn off the damn thing or unplug the wire but I didn't have to do this in this case so we're gonna go ahead and test the connection I think it's gonna drop because I have the DNS settings enabled I'll be right back when this is loaded okay that kind of crapped out a little bit so what we need to do is we need to redo the internet connection so you need to go to network settings and you need to go set up a wireless network then from here choose your access name okay I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the internet make sure you don't accidentally press anything that has to do with the word update in it we have to be really really careful doing this if you get the spinning circle on staying that way for a while go ahead and press the Xbox um, home logo on the controller I'm having problems using my internet what else is new I'm gonna try tethering my uh, phone to the Xbox Sorry for the problems guys, I made a mistake, lol. Too late for this. Go to advanced settings, go to your uh, DNS settings, make sure your IP address is on automatic over here. Then go ahead and try connecting to your network. I'm sorry about that. Okay, the connection's all good and everything. Sorry about that again guys. It's late, i um, working double shifts every day and it's driving me through a nut house. Okay so now what we need to do is we're just going to test everything to make sure nothing updated or whatever and I'll show you some other stuff okay so let's go into system and console as you can see right now I'm still on the oldest version which is of a couple of days ago 10.0.25398.4478 if by any chance at the end of the um, OS version says uh, dot .4908 then you've updated the latest firmware and this will not work for you I'm sorry so just make sure that the end of your firmware says dot .4478 
Okay, now let's go jump into the store and I'll show you what you need. Do not click any updates or anything like that. Stay the hell out of here. Okay, now when you open up the um, browse the store, don't touch anything on the controller. It's going to ask you to update the store. We're just going to press no. Don't worry about that. It's an old cookie. We're just going to go back. Browse store. It's asking to update. Press cancel. Okay, I ran into a problem and it kept showing that test connection. So just go ahead and restart the system and that got us past that part. So as you can see now, we're in the store. So I don't know how long this back door is going to be open. I don't think even Microsoft's even aware about this, that this is, that you can connect to the store with using the older firmware. Maybe they don't give a, a crap, whatever. Okay. So we need to go to the search function and we need to type in notepad. We're going to get a couple of different programs. Now please keep in mind, I don't know if this is going to be the same problem for you, but it was a problem for me where I had to keep queuing it up and unqueuing it and queuing it back up to get the program to work. It might just be my really bad internet. I don't know, but if you've been with uh, me on this channel for a while, you know my internet's horrible and this is not a big application at all. So we're going to go ahead and press install. Now if you press A on there, it shows it's queued up here. Sometimes it, sorry about that, sometimes it crashes. Like it just, it doesn't go past zero and it's a really small application. If you're having the same problem like I'm having, just leave it for like 10 minutes and come back to it and that should fix the problem. Because it was just like really, really bad to install this. So I'll be back when this is done. As you can see, it's starting to finally move. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this up once. Okay, that's opened up. So we can go to home. Okay, now we need to go back into the store. Always remember, watch that A button. Watch that A button, baby. Okay, now I think it's called ADV File Manager. I don't know. Yeah, ADV File Manager, File Explorer. I'm used to the PlayStation with the manager. Okay, go ahead and press A. Press Install, you own it. Then you can press A again to see what it's doing. I just go to the home screen on here, and then it like gives you like a little bit of better overview. I'll be back when this is done. It took me a few minutes to install the Notepad, maybe about four or five minutes when I put the video on pause. Just in case you're skipping ahead of this, I just want to mention something. After we're done doing this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to re-enable the DNS setting. And we're going to play it safe by doing that. As you can see, it's almost done. And okay, it's done. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to open up the Explorer. Let that load. Okay, go ahead and press close on here. Now, I'm not going to do the proof of concept. I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's getting late. I didn't even, even eat dinner yet. Um, I gotta be up soon, which sucks. So you wanna go home, and that's it. Everything's done. Now, if you missed out on this and you didn't get a chance to download the game script for it, like if you're on the same firmware, um, the firmware that we're on right now, go ahead and download the game script and run it, and it should work without a problem. I don't think anybody realizes that this back door is open or or whatever but I'm able to be on here and download it without a problem we'll go back into the system settings and we will go into system and console information as you can see we're on 4 we're on the, the OS version ending in 4478 that's the firmware that needs to be hacked and cracked now just to show you a proof of concept that this will stay on the firmware I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to restart the system if you want to stay here um, with me you're more than welcome to also I'll be back I'm gonna put this on pause I actually turned off the system so I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna uh, turn it back on to make sure that we're all good in the neighborhood okay the system is loaded and we have our applications here like we used to and we're gonna go into the settings and we're gonna make sure it's in an update or anything like that
and there's the console information ending in 4478. So that's how we get around this problem. Okay, first things first, sorry, we need to go back in the settings and we need to re-enable the DNS settings. So you want to go into network settings, then you want to go to advanced, then you want to go to DNS settings. Okay, we want to press manual. And the numbers you need is 127. Then you want to put dot. Then you want to put another dot. Sorry, whoops, go back. You want to put zero, dot, zero, dot, one. That's the number. Make sure you put your dots in. You want to do the same thing, 127, dot, zero, dot, zero, dot, one. Then press enter and the DNS is enabled. Now what do you want to do? It's gonna just crash, it's gonna say it's not working, whatever. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna go back into your system settings. Unfortunately, you can't use the DNS and use a Microsoft Store, that doesn't work. Uh, okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna to go to, you think it's network settings, and you wanna press go offline. And as you can see, the status connection is offline and we'll be able to run the applications. There's the ADV.